Hi, my students. Uh, I will be able to help you. I am Dr. Zainab Yusuf Mahmoud. I am a student in the room. The room is 56 in the room. And we will be able to help you and help you in the classes. Uh, I am a class of the سي شابترز لكن احنا هنسيب الدنيا هي اللي تمشينا انتوا شايفين الظروف عامله ازاي هنبتدي بكاي سكوير تيست وده بالنسبه لي از شابتر 3 كاي سكوير تيست هو نوع من ال تايب من الاختبارات ويتش از ويتش هاز 3 اور مور تايبس اوف تيست The first is test for goodness of fit. Uh, the chi-square statistic can be used to see whether a frequency distribution fits a specific pattern. This is referred to as the chi-square goodness of fit test. We mean here that we have an observed distribution and we want to be sure that is, it is right. So we will use chi-square test to be sure that it is right. Uh, we have five steps to do this, but uh, the main issue is to see, to, to show you the formula uh, for the test for goodness of fit, which is chi-square equals summation O minus E capital to the power 2 over E. What is O and E? O is the observed frequency, which we can see it in life. E is the expected frequency, and this will be calculated by us. And then we will calculate chi-square. DF, or degrees of freedom, uh, is the uh, degrees of freedom that we use beside alpha, in addition to alpha, to uh, find the uh, value of the table for chi-square. Any test, any test uh, must have some assumptions to be fitted. Assumptions for goodness of fit test is the data are obtained from a random sample because statistic is working with random samples only, the expected frequency for each category must be five or more. That's to say E, capital E, the expected frequency must be five or more. If it is less, we will merge two categories to, to make it five or more. Example, fruit soda flavors. This is a market. Try to, ana to analyze which flavors uh, are preferred to their customers. So a market analyst wishes to see whether customers have any preference among five flavors of a new fruit soda. Uh, a sample of 100, this is a sample of 100 people provided the following data. This is the data as we see in the table. Is there enough evidence to reject the claim that there is no preference in the selection of fruit soda flavors using the data shown previously? That is to say, if we see these observed frequencies, can we say that each customer has the same um, preference for each type of uh, flavors or not? So we have five step in, uh, steps in this uh, test. Step one. 
we must state the hypothesis and identify the, cl the claim. Each note, customers show no preference. This is the claim. هذا هو الادعاء اللي احنا عايزين نشوفه صح ولا لا. Each one, customers show a preference. اللي هو the inverse of each note. That we see always that each one is the uh, opposite or, or the, the, the inverse of each note. If each note is true, therefore we calculate the expected frequencies. This is the observed in the second row. The third row is the expected. If we expect that there is no special prof, uh, preference for any customer, so each category will take 20. Why? Because 10 over 5 categories is 20. So all will take 20 uh, frequency. Step two, find the critical value. This is the value that we will compare it with the uh, computed uh, test value. Degrees of freedom is number of categories minus one is five minus one equal four. Alpha equal 0 0.05, and this is given, of course. Then the critical value from the chi-square table is 9.48. Step three, compute the test value, which is chi-square equal that summation. We will calculate it for the first category, 32 minus 20 square over 20. For the second, 28 minus 20 squared over 20, etc. So it will equal 18. It is obvious that it is more than the critical value we take it from the chi-square table. So now we will take the decision. The decision is to reject the null hypothesis since 18 is more than 9.84. Lie, we are lied in the uh, rejected area. The conclusion or the comment is the five step summarize the result. There is enough evidence to reject the claim that customers show no preference for their flavors. Example two, retirees. Uh, in this association, uh, they retired uh, senior executives, اللي هم المديرين التنفيذيين, وبعدين رجعوا من الشغل. Who had uh, returned to work? بعد كده رجعوا من الشغل. And they try to see uh, what did they do in their life so they found that after returning to work 30 38 uh, percentage were employed by another organization اشتغلوا في مكان تاني وال 32 uh, were self employed اشتغلوا uh, عمل مع نفسهم يعني uh, 23 uh, were either freelancing or uh, consulting. اشتغلوا مستشارين او شغلهم او اشتغلوا فري. يعني لما يعوزوهم يلاقوهم And seven percentage have had formed their own companies. عملوا شركات. مش اشتغلوا بس مع نفسهم دول عملوا شركات. To see if these percentage are consistent with those uh, of uh, a local researcher surveyed 300 uh, retired 
اكزيكيوتيفز هو هاد ريتيرن تو وورك قالوا طب طب يعني دي النسب اللي احنا متوقعينها طيب احنا هناخد 300 ونشوف هيحصل ايه فلقوا الاعداد دي هي اللي هي 122 85 76 و17 دي الاعداد خدوا بالكم التانيين كانوا نسب دي الاعداد اللي لقوها ات الفا ايكوال 0.1 تيست ذا كلين ذات ذا بيرسنتج اوف ذا سيم فور ذوس بيبل ان الجينيسي كانتري هنشوف نسبه الكلام ازاي الارقام اللي لقوها 300 300 كانت متقسمه بالاعداد اللي انتم شايفينها دي طيب الاول نستيت الستيب 1 اللي هي الهايبوثيسيس وايدنتيفاي ذا كلين ذا ريتايرد اكزيكيوتيفز هو ريتيرن تو وورك ار ديستريبيوتد از فولوز اللي هم كانوا متوقعين اللي هم الاكسبكتد من الشركه دي نفسها بالنسب اللي هي مدينها لنا في الاول و ذا ديستريبيوشن از نوت ذا سيم طبعا اللي هو الانفرس بتاع اتش نوت از ذا اتش 1 طيب how we can calculate uh, the expected numbers because we have percentage we will take each percentage like uh, 0.38 and multiply it by 300 which is the uh, sample size it will be 140 and for self-employed we do the same and the third and the fourth we have four categories So we have now the observed values and the expected values. Step two, find the critical uh, value. Degrees of freedom is four, number of categories minus one, alpha equal 0.1. Then the critical value, which is which we get it from uh, the chi-square table, is 6.25. The chi-square test, as we see. We take all uh, any observed in the first uh, in the first uh, category, uh, 122 minus 114 squared over 114 plus for the second, for the third, for the fourth category. So, chi square will be 3.3. Uh, we can see that. The chi square is less than the value of the critical uh, the, uh, the value of the critical uh, uh, value which is uh, six points so we are like we are stay uh, stayed in the uh, accepted area since uh, 3.3 is less than uh, 6.25 the decision is not to reject the null hypothesis how we can write it there is no this is this is a step five there is no not evident evident uh, enough evident to reject the claim it can be concluded that the percentage are not significantly different from those given in the null Hypothesis. We can accept the null hypothesis. Uh, this is another example for a distribution. You know, Poisson distribution. Uh, this is an example. We want to be sure if it is uh, it follow a, a, a Poisson distribution or not. The number of defects in printed circuit ports is uh, hypothetic to follow a, 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 a Poisson distribution. A random sample of n equals 60 printed ports has been collected and the following numbers of defected, defects observed. This is the variable, which is a... Uh, uh, 
discrete continuous uh, discrete uh, uh, quantitative variable and this is the frequencies d1 2 3 is the variable and the observed frequency uh, is the frequencies of uh, that variable that's to say we we see we saw no defects 32 times and one defect 15 times the sum of those frequencies are 60 which is the number of uh, the sample or the, sam the sample size how we can get um, these numbers as uh, expected first we must calculate lambda lambda is the parameter of the Poisson distribution, which is the mean of that distribution. We can calculate it as any mean. So, lambda is 32 times 0 plus 32 is the frequency times 0, the value of the like uh, uh, x, xi, fi. You have summation xi, fi, this is the rule over summation fi so 32 times 0 15 times 1 9 times 2 4 times 3 over 60 this is equal 0 0.75 this is lambda this is the parameter of the Poisson of the Poisson distribution so we can calculate pi this is what is pi the probability of getting the values of each uh, 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 the, the variable values uh, we saw it which is 0, 1, 2, 3 so P1 and here probability in X equal 0 E to the power minus lambda lambda to the power 0 uh, uh, divided by 0 factorial this is the probability after we uh, calculated B2 here probability x equal 1 then probability equal 2 p4 probability equal 3 or more uh, here 1 minus b1 b2 b3 as we know the complement the sum of these probabilities must be 1 uh, that the last here 3 or more the number of expected frequency is 2.5 which is less than 5 so we'll, we will merge it by uh, with the uh, up uh, 1 which is 2 so the table each note will uh, the form of the distribution defects is Poisson H1 is not Poisson. Alpha equal 0 0.05, statist statistics chi square uh, equal uh, the same uh, uh, rule as we see. So, chi square under 0 0.05 and 1, which is, which is the degrees of freedom, is 3.48. Uh, uh, computations uh, we we calculate uh, chi square uh, it will be uh, 2.94 uh, so uh, since chi uh, square uh, calculated chi square is less than chi square uh, tabulated so we are unable to reject the null hypothesis that the distribution defects is uh, in a printed circuit ports is Poisson. So it is not a Poisson. It is not a Poisson distribution. And these are two exercises to be tried to solve. Uh, uh, by the same idea we uh, explain. Uh, this is uh, number one about a die if we uh, uh, have a die and we land it 
60 times and we have the following observed uh, frequencies uh, and we want to test if it is fair or not if it is fair of course each face will take 10 times 10 frequency so try to solve this uh, exercise As a second, suppose that a sample of 400 persons is ob observed entering the mosque and the entrances uh, selected by uh, each person is recorded. At uh, the 5 percentage significance level, can we reject the null hypothesis that the distribution of people Entering the mosque is uniform across the four entrances. نبقى هنشوف إذا كانوا بيدخلوا من الأبواب الأربعة بشكل واحد هم is four, so each one will take a four hundred by four, so the expected value is a hundred. So try to solve this. Uh, and uh, we will meet again in the following uh, lecture. Goodbye.